Hey everyone, today I'm going to be talking about Langchain templates and how they can be used in sequential chains to build out some pretty cool sequences. So to get started, the first thing I'm going to talk about are prompt templates, uh, just to give some basic understanding of what they look like and how they can be built. So the first thing we're going to want to do is import from Langchain. We're going to want to import the prompt template. So once we import the prompt template, we're going to want to create just a simple template here. So we'll do a template equals tell me a joke about topic. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow the prompt template to replace the word topic with an input variable. So when we create the template here, we're going to want to say template equals template and then input variables and we're going to want to specify that the input variable to this topic is going to be a uh, topic. So one way to kind of view what this prompt would look like with the substitute put in there is we could just simply do a prompt dot format and specify a topic of, let's say dog. If we were to run this, you can see here, tell me a joke about a dog or about dog. Maybe I should change that. Um, so now you can kind of see how we are able to pass in a single variable. We are able to pass in multiple uh, variables as well. So we could say, tell me a adjective joke. And the idea here is we'll also need to update this with adjective. And now we can say adjective equals funny. So here we can say, hey, tell me a funny joke. Oh, missed a comma there. There it is, tell me a funny joke about a dog. So this is a simple way to build out a very basic template that allows us to reuse uh, the prompt and just have the variable input from users or from other templates, other chains. We'll see that in just a little bit. Uh, one other one I wanted to show real quick because I think it can be useful is the idea of uh, few shot templates. So we can, again, import from Langchain here. I'm just gonna copy that real quick. So from Langchain, import prompt templates and then the few shot template as well. And then what we can do is create examples of what that might look like. And uh, again, I'm just gonna copy in these examples just for uh, some time savings here. So the examples here are, we're gonna take a sentence, ice cream is good, and we want a sentiment uh, that that's positive. Uh, another example, sentiment, the movie was horrible, that's negative. Look, that's a bird, that's a neutral sentiment. And the idea here is we'll now want to create a template, and that template's gonna be pretty easy. We'll just do a sentiment, something like this, Sent, sentence with that and sentiment there we go so that's what our template's going to look like and because we have that template we can now do a example we want to create an example prompt template and this is going to be just like we had before so we will do prompt template template equals template and cool GitHub Copilot helps me out. Uh, and the input variables are gonna be the sentence and the sentiment here. So we can see those two input variables. Next, what we're gonna wanna do is, or the final step really, is to create the few shot template. And the way we do that, few shot template. And that's gonna take in a couple, that's gonna take in a couple extra things. So we're gonna take in the examples. We're gonna wanna take in the example prompt that we just created up above. Uh, and I guess I just called that example. Uh, so we're gonna wanna take in the example prompt that we created and we're gonna have a prefix. What this is going to do is give us the ability to kind of give instructions to the LLM or the large language model on how we want to treat these, uh, treat this two shot. So here we might say, uh, give the, give this sentiment 
of all the sentences. And then a suffix, this is gonna be where, most likely where the user input comes in. So here we'll do sentence, uh, and we'll just do input, and then do a new line, sentiment. And so what this is going to do is we're going to now, uh, well, I guess we'll specify the input variables here. And the input variable here is gonna be input. So we're gonna, the input variable to this view shot template is the uh, input here. And we can specify how we may want to separate our, our examples with just a new line here. And this also has the ability to just do a few shot template format. And the input will be, uh, that was great. And again, this was just gonna show us what the template looks like. Uh, I'm missing a couple of commas. There we go. And this is just gonna show us what the prompt looks like. Let's see if we add another new line in here, if this will give us something prettier. Yeah. What if we print it out? Yeah, that gives us something prettier. Uh, so here you can see, given the sentiment of all the sentences, one sentence, ice cream is good, sentiment positive, and then this is what our, this is what our prompt would look like. So that's just a simple way to do a few shot prompt template. This is nice to be able to help guide the LLM down a certain path with uh, examples of what you want it to have happen. So now we're gonna get into chains. And the first one that we're gonna want to, I'm gonna copy paste some stuff over here. So we're gonna, I'm gonna be using the OpenAI uh, large language model. And then we're gonna be using just a simple LLM chain. And here again, we're using prompt templates. I'm gonna load up my uh, open API key and initialize an open AI LLM. Uh, that's some pretty standard stuff. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a prompt template that takes in a variable here. And in this scenario, we're gonna say, uh, you are a content creator given a topic. It it is your job to create a title. And then we'll just do topic and creator. And prompt template. And again, so the reason I showed the earlier part was because a lot of this is gonna be just prompt template stuff. Prompt template. Input variables is going to be a topic. Yeah, there we go. And we'll call this one the title chain. So we're gonna create an LLM chain and all chains do is it allows us to apply these prompt templates to the large language model. So this is going to, when I run this, this is gonna build out a title chain. And then when it gets executed, this is gonna be the first thing that gets, uh, gets ran and We'll create another prompt template here that just uh, takes in the title from this prompt and is, uh, we'll create a little top, we'll create a little, uh, couple sentences based off of it. How does that sound? So here we'll say, you are a content creator given a title of a topic. Good job to write three sentences about it. And we'll do what we kind of did above. And prompt template. Again, we're gonna to wanna to create the prompt template. Wow. Thanks, GitHub Copilot, man, jeez. Uh, all right, and we'll just call this one sentence, uh, sentence chain. And we're gonna to wanna to take in a prompt template, prompt templates. Yeah, that all looks good to me. So this is going to take in an input title of, uh, or an input variable of a title and generate some content from it. And again, we're just creating a chain to do that. And now lastly, we're going to, 
uh, we're going to want to import the actual sequential chain. So from langchain.chains, import simple sequential chain. Um, we'll just call this overall chain. And simple sequential chain. And here we're going to give it a list of chains. And so the first one we're going to want to give it is the title chain. And since this is sequential, it's going to run that one first. It's going to generate a title, pass that title into the suite code sentence chain and generate a topic for us. And we'll just do a verbose here just so we can see what the output is. So let's see what happens when I run all this good stuff. So we're going to run this real quick and it's going to load up the open API LLM. I'll then uh, create the first prompt template here, and it broke. Oh, this should just be prompt. Let's try it again. There we go. And same thing here. Man, don't trust GitHub Copilot all the time. <laughs> uh, here, we'll run it again for creating the uh, sentence chain. And then here we're just going to execute the overall. So this is actually going out to the, uh, well, this part is just creating the chain. And now we will do the overall chain dot run. And we'll give it a topic. Uh, I like dogs. So we'll stick to the dog theme here and run the chain. And this does take a little bit of time, but we can see here it already did the first part. Man's dog's best friend, and there we're creating the uh, the three sentences. So you can kind of see how we're able to pair these together to create a uh, pretty cool chain overall. All right, so there's one more I wanted to show off, which is the co a complex, a little more complex of a scenario. I'm going to copy and paste some stuff over just from my previous ones again. So this is just kind of importing some of the uh, lang chain prompts. Uh, the sequential chain, uh, the one thing we did add here is a simple memory. So this is going to actually allow us to make passing variables between chains a little easier. And that's kind of what I want to show off. And then again, we're just going to be using the open a open AI LLM. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is create a little more complex of a template. And I'm just going to copy and paste this because again, these are very simple or very st straightforward from our other scenarios. The one difference here is the output key. So here we can say the output key here is the synopsis. Uh, we'll copy and paste in another one. So the idea with this example is you're going to be a play writer and given a given a title of a play and the era, you're going to create a create a little synopsis or a short little paragraph of what that play is going to be. And then the next scenario is, hey, you're an actual critic at the New York Times. Given that synopsis, write a review. And we can see here, we're going to take in a synopsis as the input variables. The output is going to be a review. And then one more, one more template here. And this template is a little bit larger, but you can see that now we're making it quite a bit more complex. This is going to take in a time, a location, uh, so those are going to be a couple of the input variables and the synopsis and review as well. And again, the output key here is going to be a social post text. So what does that all look like when it comes together? So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a sequential chain. So an overall chain. And in this sequential chain, we're going to have a memory and we're going to do the simple memory. But here we're going to want to specify what the memories look like. And the memories are going to be uh, time. And in this scenario, we're, we're specifying what the, what the time is for the memory. So December. And this is how we're able to make it a little more to pass those variables easier is using this memory here. Time, location, New York City. Yeah, that works. Chains. I think we got three here. So I think we have a synopsis chain, a review chain, and then we're going to want to pass it into the uh, 
Let's double check that. Synopsis chain, pass it into the review chain, go into the old social chain here. Yep, that looks right or close. The input variables. So the input variables here are going to be era and title. And those are going to be the ones that are from the user's input. And the output variable is going to be uh, that social post text here at the very end here, the output key social post text going to be the output variable. And again, we're going to want to do verbose equals true just so we can kind of see if anything's happening. So once we have that sequential chain, what we're going to want to do is execute it. So overall chain is going to be overall chain run. And then we're going to pass in an object of title. And this title could be car chase at sunset. Yeah. And the era. Let's do 1950s, 1950s era. All right, so now I'm going to go back through here real quick and execute. And again, this is just setting up the LLM. Here we're creating the first template saying, hey, you're a playwriter, create a synopsis. Creating that review chain, creating the review. Here we're going to create the social media. Click run there. Got it. All right, so now we're going to execute this overall chain. And let's see what pops out. The idea here is it's going to be taking in a title and an era, creating the creating a synopsis for that play, uh, getting a review of that play, and then uh, sending out a social tweet. Well, showing us what the social tweet social tweet might be when the uh, play is finished. All right, there we go. We got the result. So title: Car Chase at Sunset, the era of the 1950s. And this is when the play is going to be December 25th, 8 p.m. Location: Theater in the Park. And then the social media post here, experience the thrills and spills of the, <laughs> of the car chase, hashtag car chase at Sunset Theater in the Park 1950s. So there you have it. There's a, there's a way to create a more complex uh, sequential chain using simple memory. Hope you uh, found it useful. Let me know in the feedback if there are ways to, uh, to improve. Thanks, everyone.